In today's message, I want to talk to you about not missing your opportunity to help. Let's talk about it. Praise to the Most High Shalom. Thank you for tuning in to another Righteous Spiritful episode. Today I'm back at it in them trenches handling that kingdom business. Man, there's, man, in life, there's going to be some opportunities, you know, where the Most High Yah is going to test where your heart is. You know, he's going to test whether you are a trustworthy person, a dependable person, an honorable person, or a person that has a genuinely good heart that wants to help. And oftentimes, man, our eyes deceive us. You know, oftentimes you'll see people that are holding up signs on the corner. And I'll tell you, man, you don't, you're not gonna get it right. But there's a reason you see certain people and there's a reason certain people don't see them. You know, you might see somebody that you say, man, they don't look homeless. They got on nice clothes. They got on this and they have that. Man, I would ask you, man, if you have a giving heart, how homeless do you want them to look? You know, man, there's been scamming and deceiving for a long time. And I'll tell you this, man, when you help other people, even if they're deceiving, the Most High Yah is recording that. Listen to what I'm saying. You know, there's times where you might help somebody. You, you gotta think about it. There's times where you help somebody that's in need. They could go take your money, go get drugs. That could be the end of their life. You know, you could help somebody that looks homeless, a man or a woman according to you, and then they go hop in a car and, and, and it's part of the scam they got. You know, you could uh, potentially see a man or a woman, sometimes they use kids and stuff like that. And you say, oh no, nah, man, they don't look homeless. Man, that's a nice stroller. This is this and that. But oftentimes you can, you know, it's easy to, to see a homeless man and say like, nah, I ain't giving no money to no man. You can go find him a job. but we really don't have no context and only thing you have to go off of is what's in your heart. So I would tell you, man, it's better. And it doesn't matter, man, if it's uh, a quarter, if it's a uh, 50 cent, you know, you, you don't know how short somebody could be from missing a meal, man. If I only had 10 cent, I could get something put on my stuff. You don't know that could be, uh, 10 cent to help them get their next hit or next high, but you don't want to miss an opportunity to show where your heart is at. Don't want to miss that opportunity. And I sit back and think, man, life is going good right now for me. But what if, what if you face the test where you lose it all, kind of like Joe, and you had to get out there and do what you didn't want to do, which was ask people for help. What if everybody turned their back on you and the only blessing you would get was from somebody that has a good heart? Think about that. Somebody that truly has a helping heart. Hey, I don't know. I don't know what you need, but I want to help you with this. That's a lot more than just saying be blessed. Oh, I ain't got it right now. And you, in, in your mind, you didn't came up with these conclusions that people are going through and you don't know them, you know? And I would, I would, I, would, I, I think about that sometimes. I say, man, if I, if I, things were going that bad in my life, you know, and I, and I lost it all. I want you to realize in the last days, man, you are going to be tested to see where your heart truly is, to see if you're faithful, to see if you are a doer of the word. You know, there's times where 
you can give somebody and they can go, you know, go buy a beer and that can turn your heart cold. You started out with a genuine help, they go in there and buy some beer and it turn your heart cold. And what you do the next time you see somebody, you say, you put that same, you start projecting on him, probably on drugs, probably, probably a wino, probably a drunkard. They're going, ain't going to do nothing but buy some, some doggone, uh, some beer with it, but you don't know that. You see what I'm saying? Sometimes people, you give them help and they waste an opportunity. We do that in our own lives. But the moral of the message today is, man, don't miss the opportunity to show where your heart is. It doesn't have to be with money. It could be, uh, you know, the goodwill might be just down the street. But you might got a, a, a girls and boys shelter, you know, on the other side of town. You know, you can give it to goodwill. They're going to sell it or you can take take this stuff that you have. Boys and girls shelter, women's shelter, shelter, you know, and actually see this stuff, man. You can go back on this channel and uh, see some of the stuff. And man, as you get older, it's about gaining more wisdom, gaining more insight about life, being uh, merciful, you know, and, and, and helping others because of the faith you have. And that faith is demonstrated you know, through works, faith without works is dead. So I challenge you, man, if you had his faith, you know, be a doer of the word and stand on that. Let your works be changed as your faith increases, as you grow, you know, in your faith. Don't miss an opportunity to help somebody out knowing that there's gonna be many tests in life. Closer to y'all ministries kicking that thing, gun barrel straight. Wow.